let's get a little bit. Uh, oh, check it out. The daughter shirt, yeah. All right, let's get it adjusted here for April 12th. Birthday reading. That's right, boys and girls. Girls and boys. The Doce de Abril, yo pienso. All right, April 12th. The day of social awareness. That's right. I can't really describe the picture here. Uh, I don't want to hold it up. No, I guess so. It looks a little bit like uh, some some people leaning in on each other with elephant heads. I don't know. And they're blowing on horns, it looks like. Some ox horns. Here nor there, here nor there. Those born on April 12 seem to always have their antennae out, sensing the public mood. Their social talents are impressive, not necessarily in terms of relating to individuals, but rather in understanding, defining, and exemplifying in their own conduct the best of their society. Unquestionably, April 12 people love to be the center of attention. Is that right? But for those who are highly successful or prominent, in the, the attention garnered is often tied in with benefiting people whose hopes and dreams they personify. A big problem for April 12 people is defining themselves as individuals, since they are often preoccupied with group or social matters. It may be difficult for them to get to know themselves at a deep level. Because of this lack of self-understanding, less highly developed April 12 people can get into a great deal of trouble, not only social, but also financial and legal. More highly developed April 12 people recognize the dangers posed by such a lack of awareness and will seek to overcome this deficiency. Whether they write, speak, or simply act as the spokesperson for colleagues, friends, or family, April 12 people are never happier than when they are putting forward their point of view, communicating with their fellow human beings who hopefully are listening. Are you listening out there? It is indeed tragic to see an April 12 person speaking to a mostly disinterested audience. I'm not April 12, but you know. It follows that they must choose as their friends and mates individuals who are not only good listeners, but also share their concerns. Many April 12 people have what amounts to an insatiable interest in current events, and for some, commenting on the state of affairs can be equally important to them. Consequently, the danger exists that they will become judgmental personalities or victims of the judgment of others. For this reason, it is important that they pull back periodically from life's busy course and find a quiet place where they can objectively examine not only their observations, but also their inner processes. In the private sphere, those born on this day must avoid reacting rashly, particularly in anger to the acts of loved ones. To retain their equilibrium, they should learn acceptance and objectivity. Otherwise, they can drive themselves and others crazy with their inability to leave things alone. A saving grace of, of April 12 people, rather, however, is a fine sense of humor. The capacity to laugh at themselves once in a while goes far in softening their harsher side. April 12 people will never want to be far from where things are happening. Whether they live in a city or in the country, they may be found in groups, in group activities of all kinds. The most highly advanced April 12 people will invariably be called upon by others to negotiate, mediate, or simply discuss deals from horse trading to plea bargaining and to bring opponents to the table. Often they are experts in the rules of the game, law, or social conventions, and are sought out for their advice. All right, let's move on to those born on this day. Henry Clay, a U.S. statesman, senator, representative, the great compromiser, as he is also known, apparently. Dennis Banks, Native American leader, Chippewa tribe, head of AIM, which is the American Indian Movement. Sacred Run director, occupied site of Wounded Knee Massacre and imprisoned. Also, we have David Letterman, TV entertainer. Uh, Pete Rose, the Cincinnati Reds multiple position baseball infielder and outfielder, also known as Charlie Hustle. He was a record holder for most games played, total at bats and hits. Herbie Hancock, jazz pianist, composer, writer, lecturer. Tama Janowitz, the novelist of Slaves of New York. 
uh, Robert Delaney, French abstract painter, Ann Miller, Broadway dancer and actress, Alan Akerborn, I believe. He was a British uh, satiric social playwright, uh, Montserrat, uh, Montserrat Calable. <laughs> he was an operatic soprano. That's more bassy, though. Uh, let's see. Lily Pons, she was an operatic soprano. A uh, little bassy, though. Uh, let's see. Jane Withers, comedian, character actress. David Cassidy, singer, TV actor of the Partridge family. Come on, get happy. Yeah, you know you're happy. We've got Scott Turow. He was a lawyer novelist. Presumed innocent. I'm assuming he was presumed innocent, but that's something he wrote or performed in. Marietta Tree, a U.N. representative of New York and a New York City planner. All right. Uh, Georges Franu, French TV film director, Eyes Without a Face. Uh, not the Billy Idol uh, song, if you're getting that confused. Uh, Eleanor T. Gluck, uh, criminologist, co-author of Unraveling Juvenile Delinquency. Joan Marshall Kelsey. Joan Grant, novelist, Lier the Lady. I guess that was her pen name, Joan Grant. She was a novelist of Lierd and the Lady. Harley Kruger, uh, German film actor, writer. Breakfast with Theodore was what they wrote or was acting in there. Maybe both. Who say, who's to say? It is the day of societal awareness, so maybe he was both. Um, Harley Kruger, let's see. Warren Magnuson. He was a U.S. Senator of Washington. All right, let's move on to the numbers and planets, shall we? <clears throat> Those born on the 12th of the month are ruled by the number 3. 2 plus 1 equals 3. And by the expansive planet, a Jupiter. Yes, those ruled by the number 3 are often ambitious, even dictatorial. Since April 12, people are generally intent on mediation and compromise. Ambitious tendencies such as these can cause great conflicts for them. The Jupiterian drives of the number three give April 12 people a highly expansive and opportunistic attitude in their thoughts and endeavors. But the added influence of Mars, ruler of Aries, can indicate hot-headedness and overconfidence. All right, on to the tarot. The twelfth card of the major arcana is the Hanged Man. Or maybe it's Hanged Man. I don't know. I like Hanged. That's all right. Maybe it needs an I in the D instead of the E. Who dangles by his foot in a head-down position. Though he seemed helpless, the Hanged Man is nevertheless spiritually powerful and deeply thoughtful. Those positive attributes of this card are recognizing limitations, problem-solving, and human qualities. Negative aspects are spiritual myopia and restrictedness. Here's your health, April 12th. Generally, April 12th, people are blessed with a healthy constitution. As long as they do not abuse it with nicotine, alcohol, or other drug addictions, or simply neglect the essentials of sufficient sleep, exercise, and a healthy diet. Optimism can easily lead to carelessness and carelessness to illness. The primary requirement for the good health of April 12th people is that they find a quiet and well-balanced place inside themselves where they may retreat. As far as food is concerned, April 12th people like to eat with others. Viewing a meal as a social experience, they often forget about what is on their plate. Focusing on conversation rather than the joys of eating. Generally, the meals of April 12th people should be flavorful and hearty rather than overly restricted or health food oriented. And here's your advice, April 12th people. Gain confidence at a deep level. Don't be too hungry for attention and appreciation, a mark of insecurity. Realize your limitations. Beware of putting yourself above the law, okay? And here is your meditation. Denial of what happens slows down the process of self-discovery. All right, here are your strengths. Socially aware, articulate, and diplomatic. Weaknesses. Overinvolved, frustrated, self unaware. That's right. And your quality and element 
Or the Cardinal Fire. That's right. Cardinal Fire. Yeah. And if you don't know what that is, head on over to one of my other videos on YouTube there, and I kind of break that down here out of the book. It just takes too long. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it here. But uh, if you goats are interested, head on over. That's the airy side for those of you that didn't know. The goats. Mm, yeah. All right. Let's move on to the stream. Yeah.